Hello everyone, Dolphin Orga here again tonight. And I'm back with my oversized screen and my big, big giant terminal because I got a lot of feedback from the DDM MX, the NVIDIA installer video series. And some people had some trouble with the with the procedure for installing uh, a specific driver from the NVIDIA developer repo. Part of that was my fault. Part of that was YouTube being stupid about about formatting issues in the text. I had a similar issue with the blog <laughs> when we moved the we moved the instructions over to the blog, and then a couple people in the forum were like, "What the heck? I'm doing something wrong." So I decided to automate this process. So I took I took some time, went back, and added the feature directly to the tool. So as of 25.01.03, which should be hitting the repos any time as of this recording, uh, you should be able to uh, do this procedure. Uh, uh, technically, 0 .02 ha has, has the feature involved, but there, there's a bug in the selection, so it won't actually work, but the 0 .03 will, will fix the bug. So anyway, so we're going to start. So we don't have to do any of the things we did at the start of the other video. We don't have to deal with with the the library, the libx, the linux nv control zero library, we're not going to deal with the CUDA key ring because this will set it up for us. It will set up the repo, and it we, we don't have to manually create the preferences file because it's going to set up the app preferences to get whatever version we want. So sudo ddm mx slash i nvidia slash big capital N to give us the repo. And again, we're going to go through an update with sources. I'm not going to update update the sources the first time because we're just about to do it again with the uh, with the NVIDIA repo so we're checking the sources with the NVIDIA repo yes please and there it goes it downloaded the key ring and installed the key ring it's asking to update the sources yes please and now we're getting that database of of applications to see what's there it's still going to do the checks for Intel Optimus my, my system is an Optimus system so yes again you may get an update notification in the middle of this process. That happens anytime you can do apt update. Do not run any updates while you're doing this. You've been warned. Okay. So this will give us a list of all the things that we have available. Now it says the candidate is 570. It's not really. You're, you're going to have to choose one. We're, it's, just, it's not going. The default action is actually to go ahead and disable the NVIDIA repo. So if you just enter with no option or if you hit 17, it's gone. These numbers may change uh, because it's based on what's actually in the NVIDIA repo at the time. Okay, So I am going to choose the 550 driver because that seemed to be the one people were interested in at the time. Uh, so let's see here. That is 8. And now it's going to say now the candidate is the 551403-1. Yes. Do you want to go ahead and install? I do. And now it's going to go do a thing. Now, one of the things it's going to do is going to use your usual stuff. It's going to do the things it always does. It's going to install the. It's going to install the. Um, the make sure that Build Essentials installed, and make sure the kernel headers installed for the currently running kernel. All that sort of thing. It's things it always does. It's also going to try to establish which version of libx nv control zero that you actually need to have. Whether you need to download one or upload one, it's going to try to specify a version, and try to keep that straight. The other thing the slash n switch does that it didn't do before is it's actually going to disable NVIDIA card detection. So I think it'll still t it'll still tell you if you if it d can't find a card it'll still tell you that, but it's not going to try to figure out which driver you want um, is available. There is no validation in the NVIDIA drivers from the NVIDIA developer repo. Can't stress this enough. If your driver doesn't build, you're going to need to purge it off and go and try again. Um, because I highly recommend, instead of trying to install things over top of one another over and over again, to get rid of it before you try again. Okay, This is the old conflict message uh, about the Novu driver, and as we know, it will go into effect when we reboot. So here's the meat and potatoes again. It's going to build the drivers. This is nothing special. If it builds on your kernel, fine, you're going to be in good shape. If it doesn't build on your kernel, this is where it's going to fail. Um, and it's not just the kernel you're running, it's any installed kernel. So if this thing, if I have 6.12 when I'm running, which I do, and is 550 doesn't build on it, which I think it will, um, <clears throat> then if one of them fails, it's going to fail. 
I actually have quite a few kernels here. Uh, apparently I have a 611 install that I forgot about. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen here. Um, but we're going to let it go. <coughs> Okay, there we go. The modules are built. They're installing them to all the kernels that I have installed. I didn't see a failure, so I think they're all going to go in. I hope so. Um, <clears throat> usually this part, just the module is being copied into the to the uh, directory for the various kernels. Yeah, it looks like we're going to make it, so we're updating the initRDs. That might take a minute because apparently I have five kernels installed. Okay, after it's done installing, it's going to disable the developer repo. It's going to get rid of the CUDA key ring. Here's the CUDA key ring being removed. Um, the information here for, for purging it off is still going to show up in your home folder, so it's there. And that's it. On my next reboot, those 550 drivers are going to be installed. So no need for the previous videos but the feedback from you guys on the previous videos plus some feedback in the forum led to making this process completely automated for you for tips tricks how to's head over to mxlinux.org or throw a post to forums on mxlinux.org this is dolphin oracle signing off have a great night